right, so I got the railings put on for the barn door. This is the longest railing system that I've put together. The, the rail is much more robust than I expected it to be, which is great. Um, these wheels and the bracket here, they're quite substantial. The problem that I came across was that I was planning on putting um, rails in the top and bottom to give it extra support, thinking that the, the rails would be a little uh, thinner. Um, the problem is that I didn't realize is that the thickness of the wheel and the rail um, would actually not allow me to have a molding here. So just have to make some adjustments. I do feel better that the rail is as substantial as it is. So I don't feel like we need a bottom rail, but um, fortunately the, the client uh, is okay with it. And so we're gonna, just gonna do the top rail and uh, do some molding next. But one of the things that surprised me is how nice and sturdy these are. I mean, I've worked with some rails that, uh, I mean, they, they've all been really sturdy, but just, uh, makes me feel confident that these are gonna hold up really well over time. I really kind of like the thickness of it. Just gives it some nice character. And makes it look uh, just a, a little bit uh, better in my opinion. So yeah, these things happen, you know, I, you imagine and you can plan and you can, I sketch these things out ahead of time, but um, you know, just, do what you can with what you got and sometimes it comes out better in this case uh the client is happy and okay with it and i'm pleased with it so we're just gonna roll with it and uh and move on so So what do you think, buddy? Is it cozy? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can, yeah, you can stretch out your whole body in there. <laughs> do you approve? I very much do. Okay, cool. Thanks for testing it out for me. Okay. Finally completed the kennel. Um, I didn't record some of the assembly and staining uh, I probably will in the next video, but really happy with how this came out. So this is this is it. It's a big one. Got to use um, walnut stain. Really nice stain. This is the first time I've used it, so it's really pretty how it came out. Added uh, some latches that I haven't used before. Added a couple on the top and one on the bottom. A nice handle. And I also added these rollers here at the bottom to help it roll smoothly and also uh, prevent the door from getting scratches or being damaged. So really happy about this one. It was fun. Had a good time making it. Had some uh, recruiters some help yesterday uh, with some sanding and some staining for my brother, Daniel. Always fun to hang out with my siblings and and uh, get them exposed to some woodworking. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really fun to make and um, hopefully I'll be putting more of these videos up so you guys can check out what I'm up to. Bye -bye.